friends. Welcome back, and it's part two of the walkthrough. Alright, uh, it's uh, time for a level 1 difficulty run. We unlocked one difficulty level by beating the previous one, so let's get into the mirror and uh, see what it brings us. Alright, our first unlocks in this game are the machines that let us pick any common items or skulls in the game. Uh, on the first run, you don't have the choice of the first skull, but you can grab the second one. And you can start with two of each. It will cost 10 dark cards, but it's uh, our problem for us. <laughs> so, since we have to start with this physical item, and Otello, I like I like a lot, really. Let's do the exciting run of, run of I mean, choose calls that summon stuff, and uh, I could do physical and uh, magic, but this item is just like the best utility item that you can get if you're not having trouble with taking damage. So, by the way, here's the platform, and let's jump into the run. Act 1 on level 1 is not going to change much, uh, but it will change, anyway. Uh, you, will, uh, you will see one more elite, or one more heart, and uh, they will have more, uh, and the enemies will have more HP, but mostly fine, really. Uh, crit rate is useful, useful for both. Uh, both characters as it's uh, damage that doesn't have a type and it just increases our generic damage yeah Argo it's a okay 
Let's go, but let's keep for now this weird combination of two summoners. Because if we get like swap ins for the summons, they become good. Uh, cooldown speed for the skills, stuff like infinite bone, they benefit. And I believe that they play well together, even though one of them is magic and the other one is physical. And uh, since we are still in uh, one of the lower levels where we don't need to go for the most consistent threats, let's have some fun with this one. If you don't like the grind of of the early game, you can always use the use the time timestamps in the video so you can just skip to the exciting parts or see at least while we are more powerful yeah the beginning of the game even though we we get more stuff is still fairly repetitive right even though we get choice it's still choice between very not unexciting uh, starts that you also get in normal mode but with harder enemies our second rare oh good it means that we can upgrade these two to her we have only enough we don't need to heal we only have enough gold for uh, to buy one thing and one thing only we could buy this because her own poisoning are okay if you haven't seen it how poison can actually get powerful in hard levels. I do have a clown poison run that was awesome. I'll just grab the face bug. The face bug uh, amplifies damage by 30% to a single target and uh, it will help us in the first adventure fight. And after it will give us some HP, which is valuable because, again, uh, just because it is one of the lowest levels on the hard mode, it doesn't mean that it's not hard. It's still fairly hard. Way harder than normal mode, at least. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm not an, a very good player. I'm just mediocre at this. But I've, I like to think that I've, that I've grew up to become at least fairly consistent at this game. Pike and uh, Pike, no. Not the great thing that we want. We could destroy Doton from for five HP, but not that valuable right now. I'll just grab this to help us a bit, even though it doesn't fit either of our Yeah, the, this is the Arachne cutscene. I had reset my <laughs> my save file a bit too wrong on the last video, so we didn't see this cutscene uh, on the last video. But it's fine. We saw it now. Uh, some explanation why this dark correctly is still helping you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, now we have two two rares. Our our summons are stronger, uh, are swapping to more stuff, and uh, yeah, just good in general. Um, so yeah, uh, if you are having pro issues with hard mode, but you are somewhat consistent in the normal mode, just try some different strategies because you may be pleasantly surprised how well they work they, they work better in uh, hard mode because you can afford to uh, you need to play safer sometimes unless you're playing such a, an OP build that you don't care and being more powerful is strong is better but it's not always the case we could try Priestess Veil because yeah Increase magic and physical attack or all other effects are good 
even though they are random. So it's not excellent. Ninja would be very, very good here. But this, this is going to be just a run with these two. I want to display the power of them. So we can also pick our slime. Uh, slime gives us time for our skills to cool down. That might be good enough. Because while we are in slime mode, we're invincible. It's just a few seconds. But it it will help our skill go down. So let's experiment with that. For a few rooms at least. Uh, we'll probably see other <sighs> the Dark Priest, I, I'm okay with Dark current now, but maybe when we are unique, we want better second alternatives, so we will test. Uh, we, we'll leave there and uh, maybe see once again. Yeah, the swapping for our skulls is great. Uh, the, the different way that these two play is that the commander you only have one activation. The Rage Digger you do have to get the raves right. But we're going into the aggressive fight and uh yeah, neither of these two uh, characters are stellar in this fight because they need to plant their summons high because their summons are floored and Yggdrasil is basically floating Woohoo, invisible But like, it's still level 1 uh, so you just see it's not going to be such a problem for now. Okay, I don't want you. Okay. So yeah. Get yeah, slime. One thousand five hundred. So uh, you just see we're getting about three hundred. HP for from less level to now, no. but yeah, uh, but it's actually fine. I don't want you to care about this, so let's just jump with the slime. <laughs> yeah, slime is is a common, but again, common contestants don't underestimate them. They're good. I don't care about this. I missed. Yeah. There goes Idrisil. Uh, yeah, the fight is still fairly. It just gets more boring as you go. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, Slime, but this is the best quintessence that you can get at this point in the game. I will show you why. Uh, first, ah, we didn't get an, uh, uh, an extra. Heart. I thought it would have three at this level. Let's see. Um, we only have two. We can go Super Baby, which is the safest. Uh, this here won't work for us because Othello just hits a lot. Uh, weakness exposure. We don't hit that much. Uh, we could do this for shoots. But I believe that the extra HP are better for now. Yeah, so I'm just having to buy the Super Baby and uh, keep moving. We will see what's next. Okay, more lore for you. 
And let's keep moving and show why Shadow Knight is the best quintessence in this entire uh, like for clearing, clearing enemies. Even if you are in a magic run, Dark uh, Shadow Knight is just that good. Okay, uh, only thing that we didn't kill was the elite. By the way, reminder, we can kill the cannons, so don't get hit. Just stay there and get hit by them. Just hit them back. At this point, uh, one thing though, upgrading both uh, skulls to legendary is harder at this point in the game than it is in the late game, after level 9 specifically, but it's still powerful enough that we can try to grab them, even though we can low roll and end up with so little fragments like we did from less less room. We just got a common in level two oh in act two. We can grab we can find common still in, in the next act and like it's maybe a bit hard. And we didn't get a second treasure item, so like we are a bit weak. Uh like for stuff that we can buy. But it's fine for now. We don't have speed skulls to, to take advantage of this. I'll take this for two relic. So now we will heal one for one. Hey, you give Wisp. Okay, okay. Wisp is very good, but again, we have Shadow Knights. But Wisp in this kind of build allows you to refresh your summons and just swap again. It's very, very, very good in this combination. But again, it's not Shadow Knights. I will take Metal Box though. Uh, treasure it, it is our second treasure and it's also the merchant notification for shadow knights we can walk around choose basically spawn more enemies and just go back to get our treasure if you are having problems like with clearing rooms and are scared just wait here and you see shadow knights will continue refreshing so you can do this every room and just have to fight the bosses essentially but I think we are okay so we can just do one Shadow Knight per two rooms but I, I don't like that the, uh, that the devs did, did this I, I wish there was just a refresh automatic every time you finish a room so you don't have to wait for this just give me my quintessence my my Mirage, my Death Trap, I don't know, uh, my bars from Yaksha and Shampoo. I don't want to have to reload them on dummies every time just because it's optimal or it's min maxing or whatever. I just. Ouch. Okay, a un unique Predator. I like Predator, but this is a summon run. We will get one unique though, which is good. Let's first pop our Shadow Knights. Uh, for this combination, you would rather have either the good old generic items like the Ring and the Pot of Greed and. Uh, Everything that basically gives you damage, both physical and uh, uh, and magic, uh, seven, uh, like equally or sin. Uh, the sin event uh, is not guaranteed, but if we find it, we will take it and just become a, a physical run. But yeah. And of course, since we are using our skills, the curse that increases skill cooldown or the. Okay, this guy is invisible in this state. Just. Yeah. As I was saying, uh, the best uh, skill cooldown item that you could find 
really would be infinite bomb so you, you can mash your skills with one character and after you are done with one character you can try infinite bomb with the other but yeah harpy I don't like it let's just destroy the alchemist we don't have enough for two uniques but I will upgrade one of them even though we have more physical than magic attack I do prefer oh I'll, I'll take this first but the Great Digger is better, usually. But anyway, let's just grab our fragments for our Great Digger, our being unique as well. And uh, yeah, on this room, you want to kill the healers first if you can, because they, uh, as it gets harder, there will be like three or four of them that heal the guy on top, and the guy on top is usually the elite, and uh. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, very good damage, I guess. Some gold and just keep moving. Wait. Okay, if this was Kaboomer, you, I would replace Grave Jigger instantly. I could still, because the the swap in is great, and we we don't have enough magic damage. Sorry, Grave Jigger, I do appreciate you, but. Take something, boom, and uh, and bomber. You just need the kaboom mobility, which we still have the reroll MCs to see. Uh, Shadow Knights here, we just go to the middle because Shadow Knights go up and down, so just kills both force for us. Let's take our treasure before the shop and uh. Our small item is Magic Pocket Watch. We don't use the concentration, but like its mutant is antique and increases cooldown speed by 70%. It's a very good item. Even though we do have the concentration tank here, we don't we don't use that. Let's reroll a couple of times. The rerolls are more expensive now. This is a very good item. If we do get uh, some crits. We now have 25 thanks to the. Yeah. I'm going to. We could keep doing relic stuff, but relic is really not that great for us. We are also not attacking, so I'll just replace King of Stick right now. With that, I don't think we can reroll and still buy anything. So let's just keep moving. Uh, we have our guaranteed. Uh, Bomber at unique at least, and the uh, bomber with with the captain, it's not oh, with the office, it's not that great. But with the captain, which is the legendary version, it's awesome because the swap in summons other soldiers and the. Uh, oh, you, I miss you. Thank you for your service, but no. Anyway. This here, or this floor, you don't need to deal with it. But this here, you can just use your good skill. I mean, you're good with tests, and uh, yeah. And now, yeah, and now we go into the sisters' fight. It was that easy, I guess. We're fairly healthy. We are doing okay damage not that great and uh, we are going to attempt to find Kaboom so we can just swap in very quickly and do a lot of swapping damage with the recruit Yeah, our skills do crit, so we still do have a, a bit of damage that we can do. Uh, yeah, room cleared. Let's swap into bomber, see if we can explode in time. 
the game. The worst, it's one of the worst attacks in the game. So about in. This, this jump, and these. This double dash uh, in time, and our skills are already dealing good damage, really, which is not bad. Good is not bad, Mr. Becker with those 2023. And quick clerk of the sisters, even though our build is not that powerful right now. We do have the good quintessence and hopefully Kaboomer, and that's the wood statue. Okay, Master Fighter. Master Fighter is a is one of those generic items that I was saying. It doesn't fit our build technically right now, but like, oh. It's uh, like it will increase damage for Bomber, and we technically would prefer just damage for physical now. But Master Fighter has something very important for us dual. I've been valuing this way more and more now because it's 15 amplification for free against bosses. So if you are a Master Fighter and you are dealing 80% more damage. You are then multiplying this by 1.15. So I want to duel, I want to master fighter, uh, the, and I want Kaboom. But first, let's go to the spirit realm and see if we want, if you find it. Okay, this I'm not even going to explain why. Aging is good here. <laughs> yes, it's less damage. Decrease is the inverse of amplification, not the inverse of increase. So it is a penalty, but we just want stuff on screen, and this is our way of putting stuff on screen. And uh, I'll, I'll save one, so we can maybe buy Kingslayer or Weakness Exposure or whatever. So Strike, still not good in this build. It was great on- oh, I forgot to keep the lore. Go back and go frame by frame if you need it. Sorry about that. And we didn't find Kaboom. What a shame. I will go for. We could go for fragments, but what items do you really want? You want to replace this. You want to replace the entire first row. We want to replace the steel mace with good arms. We do have a treasure though, so let's just keep this for a bit. Go to the middle of the st of the vertical stage and uh, press left and. Uh, Shadow Knights do all the work for us. Okay, the recruit needs uh, a teaching from the actual good recruit skull. So take it. Give me your heart. And uh, yeah. Again, if you are trying to play very, very, very safe, you can just do the right thing and wait for a minute but waiting for a minute at every room just so you can shadow knights and uh, not play the next room is a bit boring <laughs> but it is a valid strategy if you need this is better arms for now because it deals damage and, uh, we need we don't need to stun we could do arc stuff but again we have shadow knights shadow knights is just that good this year, mana cycle, antique, uh, faster skill cooldown, more physical damage. I will place our. Uh, this is okay, but I don't want that right now. More concentration stuff. We're not even concentrating with the concentration stuff that we have. So let's just keep moving and see if we can get one or two legendaries. Okay, we. We can get Kaboom here, and uh, 
we will try to re roll the hardest we can for that. I send bagging this Shadow Knight for some reason, I guess. Let me get this. Let me swap. Uh, I, yeah, I have wheel. Remember to use that. And uh, this is not kaboom. This is kaboom. Okay, thank you. Cynical. Cynical, but sometimes useful. So, yeah. Now we can do the silly thing of just exploding and uh, exploding more. Oh, and our IX. Actually, we got one with execute, which gives us 60% uh, amplification to enemies with low HP. This includes bosses. Yes, it's superseded, but uh, it is bad when you have King Slayer, but right now we don't. And also, it hits other enemies that are not bosses, so it's still useful. I do prefer Duel though, but I'm not going to complain. Frost, so we don't have uh, the ability of going legendary here, but we should. Huh. He's already tired here in the corner. See? <laughs> animations and then when we enter it stops being tired interesting and they get tired again implementation details and kaboom and wheel and more skills yeah I forgot that we have good skills and uh, already good uh, uh, cooldown thanks to aging we're old and with age comes experience oh I Clicks. I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, it's just healing. It's, it's okay. Oh, base it again. I, yeah, we loot that too. Stun of the hair. Very great, great item. We don't need it now. Dark quality. Great uh, support skill. Not, not bomber level though. And uh, yeah, we should be in, in good shape for a legendary in Act 3. And we can get seen. Okay, let's see what sin item we will get here. But also, let's uh, do the correcting thing of. Oh, uh, I pressed the contestants, but I guess it wasn't reloaded yet. Let's see what we have here. And it's fortress. It is 20 shields for free every room, so it is good. Don't be fooled by that. Is it time to get rid of treasure? It might be. The other option, uh, we still want mana cycle, we want uh, our 400% skill cooldown speed, and we want arms for more damage. So, yeah, thank you for this. And this, yes, this reduces our damage dealt to enemies if, you, if this is your first. Sin, by the way, uh, it is another de a decrease effect of damage, but also our explosions from Bomber are now physical. Let me show you uh, as we enter here, and now we dealt 1519 damage, physical damage with Bomber, and uh, because we have so 400% cooldown speed, we can just keep booming. Stay kaboom. Uh, this enemy, just stay away from the explosion and you'll be fine. This is cooldown for uh, our Shadow Knights, but again, you don't need to pop Shadow Knights twice in a room, usually. And I honestly cannot fit this item here. So let's just keep. This is technically a better courage, but also the masterpiece. <laughs> Another good quintessence. And by the way, this quintessence is now going to deal physical damage. I can show you on the mannequin. Uh, let's see. Lurk Demon and uh, physical damage. Which is a lot. But Shadow Knight is the superior room clear clearing ability here still. Uh, we did buy it because it will sell for 15 life. Which is going to be increased by Super Baby. So we will have a lot of HP here. I will reroll once more. Uh, none of this is that excellent. 
but this score room guarantees us guarantees that we will see uh, uh, we will have legendary Kaku and uh, because our cooldown speed is so high, maybe we don't even need a legendary Kaboomer. We will consider that. And let's see some items now. Okay, this room is usually a good excuse to keep waiting for your Shadow Knights. Because this year, it just means you will get something very cheap. But we're not doing doing that is 45 seconds so let's just explode here and uh, do our yeah they're down but we are taking damage because of the explosions so yeah the death animation there is a bit over the top okay item if you're doing poison it helps with room clearing really but we don't need that we might want this again. Don't need either. So let's just go into the camera fight. We have wheel. We have seven <laughs> adventurers killed with our uh, arrow box. Only five of them count, so we have 150 percent damage there. And we have seen, so our bomber is going to be physical. This could have been a great digger, physical great digger, run, but I'm not, I'm not losing bomber, really. Okay, it's on. Uh, camera is the easiest boss in the game, and uh, this just show an example of that. <laughs> okay, we just found our oh, our demon is back here, but like this allows us to replace one arms item when needed but also to just replace the bad courage item that we wanted to get rid of this is i say like ring and part of greed are the best generic items in the game uh this is the best physical item in the, in the game if you're doing a physical run you want this anyway let's see our curses No, and no, uh, we can do the Kingslayer for some more damage dealt to, en to, to enemies. Huh. They, they nerfed the achievement, it was to heal 30 against us. Anyway, just, just get, grab Kingslayer as a cool animation, a bit more lore for you. And uh, yeah, let's grab our legendary captain. Our Kaboom cooldown speed is now faster than our <laughs> than our swap cooldown speed. So we don't need legendary for that right now. We would rather right now find a mutant uh, description. So we will go for items instead of skulls. The, can do the Shadow Knight's thing. The uh, no, no, our skills deal so little damage now because we have aging and uh, <laughs> and sin. It's still very, very good. None of this is very, very good, so let's just move. Uh, wheel is an item, so it will not crit, but it's still fun. Great <laughs> uh, armor, if you haven't seen it, it's just the enemy doesn't take damage for a while and then he breaks like uh, the Mirage effect and then you deal damage to their HP but our stuff is doing a lot of damage so don't care about that let's go kaboom uh, 
uh, the yeah these items are kind of bad. Uh, Master Brawler, it is execute. Huh? Could we replace this? So we keep execute, but we get game brawl. Brawl with two brawl, we deal a shockwave every five seconds. It's just a bit more damage. And this year is 25% extra damage, but when we are they just complement. Uh, and Master Fire and Master Brawler just complement each other. Huh. Am I this insane? Maybe. Let's see. Let's see if, if this is worth it. Now we are at 666 <laughs> damage. And uh, yeah. Full HP. Uh, again, uh, two room, uh, two floor room. So you just go there in the middle and pop. Shadow Knights, and Shadow Knights should do quick job, a uh, quick, quick work of both, of course. Uh, if there is a floor here, we still ah, oh, not even. Yeah, Shadow Knights is this makes things this easy, really. Uh, Heart of the Ascetic, okay item, not a great way to play baby, really, and we are at full HP, we don't care about the descriptions, so let's just see what else we can get. We can only afford maybe one reroll, or maybe not, uh, so let's just keep moving. Uh, the devs increased the reroll cost in this up update because they think that the three chest oh three item per chest uh, uh, thing help uh, is good enough but I don't know it's a uh, it's a bit weird for me let's just keep pressing skills and keep moving because we're probably not changing anything so just Oh good, the legendary. Don't care. Let's just go to our adventurous fight. We still have full. Okay, the thief is an annoying enemy because he never stops <laughs> moving, but he's also like one of the lowest HP enemies in the game. Uh, uh, no, not in the game, but like the. On the, one of the lowest B uh, adventures because of that. He won't just that he will never stop, but then ah, really ultimate just ultimate just keep clear to stay one third of the uh, or one third I mean one fourth or one fifth of the of the room and just dash into the corner and it will never hit you. And it's too easy still. Nothing here. This this mutant, we could grab this for huh, higher speed. But if you get rid of it, we will have to get rid of the worst item here, which is this, right? Execute. I still amplify 60% damage while the bosses are between Kingslayer range and 20%. It's okay. And it's more damage here. Yeah, let's let's experiment this over Priestess Veil, vale, even though we will need uh, lose 50% skill pronounced speed. I just want to experiment a bit, because we are still in level 1, and uh, a lot of these new uh, learnings could carry into the uh, harder levels. Which is also something that I recommend. If the strategy that we, you've been carrying so for so long isn't working, try a new one. Our hard mode is definitely beatable, and uh, you will be fine. At some point, I see an NPC. Might be. Oh, it's not. I wanted this line. It's not this line, but it's fine. It doesn't rhyme. Let's talk to him, just mash uh, Losery, we don't care about that, but it's okay, go. 
Let's go kaboom. Active. And yeah, from then on, they're easier to, to kill. I try to kill my own summons with my own summons. Yeah. Doom today? Not great, really. Maze Manor Bracelet, very good, but wisdom. This is one of the must take defensive items, usually, but right now at this level we don't need defense. But if you are having issues, please take this. This nullifies damage for 5 seconds every 20 seconds. It's that good. Also, the same thing, Succubus. Succubus nullifies damage for 3 seconds at any point, even if you were getting hit for a combo, you pop this and you don't, and the rest of the combo misses. Uh, executes and mutants, but again, it's not, it's not what we need. 2 treasure, we don't need that anymore, Kirin, too late for that, but it's a very good physical item. Okay, we might need to fit, to fit this, because this is 40% damage for us, and yeah, I will have to get rid of Master Brawl. Sorry about that, but le let me show you why. Each sum is, is going to increase our physical damage here, or uh, crit, I mean, up to 40, which is going to give us 65% crit rate, which is going to trigger Gunpowder Sword. So, a bunch of explosions. And these explosions are not uh, skill damage, so they are not d reflected by aging. This room, if you don't know how it works, uh, the puzzle, you just go to uh, a place where you have three and try to see if any of those things trigger three. three. And after they do, yeah, it's not. <laughs> so you can brute force, you don't need to think hard, really, like I did. Oh, I didn't think hard, I just found the one that triggered three and tried everything. Three legendaries, none fits our build, yay. Isn't three items for chests, very good. Let's just pop our... Okay, room cleared, we're at full HP. Or seen item that gives us shields we're not even needing the shield here but it's fine because now it's time to face Joanne and uh, yeah this fight again very very easy not, not very very easy I mean compared to the hero uh, because at this point in the game you need to be prepared for the hero because you will not got many opportunities to get stronger so Joanne is just a stepping stone that is going to test your damage, really. How much damage can you deal without taking damage? And, uh, and the answer is spoilers. It's going to be oh, okay damage. <laughs> I'm not even going to pop the. Yeah, this noise that you hear is uh, Kingslayer pointing out that the pillars also count kind of as bosses here for the 50, oh, for the 10% uh, threshold to kill. And uh, yeah, we just kill. Uh, there are those that, if you are having issues figuring out what's going on, on the screen, Shadow Knights might not be the best. Uh, Quintessence in the game for you. Uh, these fires, they will deal some damage, so bear of that. We took two hits trying to evade the fire. 
Uh, but yeah, there goes Joanne. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe our damage output, 708% physical, is kind of good. Swanesio, very good, single hit. Uh, single target hit. Hand of Glory, is dual. <sighs> oh no. Okay, uh, I told you that I like dual. And this is the second dual, but it's also uh, free 120% damage, really. Since we don't have mana cycle anymore, I will replace uh, the wheel with. And now, even though we don't have 300% uh, right now, we don't have 300 HP right now, so we will only have 24 ticks instead of 30 of the Hand of Glory. But now we have 697% damage. Wait, what? Oh, it's, it's because. Uh, Hope Slasher is not active anymore. When Hope Slasher activates, we will get more. <laughs> I was scared for a moment there. Let's see this. I I have no idea what Armor, Magic Tool and uh, Memorize Inscription is. I... So yeah. Okay! <laughs> Weakling and Aging. We have now the skill Increase 150 and 150, 20. So, oh no, this is skill casting speed. Skill casting speed is the effect that you get for having four man attack. But because we are playing the, now we, we just raise our sword very quickly, and the the summon is summoned. So this is actually very good, very good for this. Uh, for this character, so a bit more. A bit more lore for you. Uh, yeah, let's see what kind of destruction can we bring here. Apparently, not many, so let's just kaboom and try now. If we did find the infinite bone, with the extra skill casting speed, would be even greater. But just because this skill casting speed by itself is very good, because we will not take damage by. Okay, I will get him for one reason. Uh, more HP, which is more damage with the with the hand of glory. Uh, you see the uh, the casting speed, how fast it is. So we kind of just press the button and can dash again. Uh, in normal velocity, you 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 can you can take hits from the hero. Now we are safer by pressing the just pressing buttons. One last showdown for Shadow Knights. We walk here. So yeah, Shadow Knights here should be enough. So let's press button here. Come here. Stay in the middle and just see complete and total annihilation of the entire room. Beautiful. Let's just see our build here. 779% uh, physical attack with Hope Slasher. We do have uh, a scene item that reduces our damage by 10%, but it makes our kaboom physical. Uh, yeah, this is a physical bomber run with Carlyon Commander that takes a lot of advantage of our swap because every time we swap, you can read here, summons 3 squad members that fight nearby enemies for 10 seconds. And our swap is so quick that we can summon 3 more squad members while the other ones are still there. So it just build a huge mass of uh, squad members that trigger Thick's Rex Steel Dagger the increases our crit rate, which then explodes with Gunpowder Sword. So we have a lot of small synergies here. For our swap build, we have two mutant items. This one increases attack speed and movement speed by 120% for 5 seconds decreasing, but then we swap again and this refresh it. Magic Pocket Watch is only here for 70% skill cooldown speed. We don't care about the concentration, even though 
Yes, the commander is a character that that likes the that can do uh, this stuff. End of glory is physical attack by four percent per ten max HP. We have two hundred sixty max HP, so it's very close to the one hundred twenty percent. It's just a bit over a hundred, and it has dual. Dual means we have 15% amplification against the hero. Uh, metal box, 140 per 140? It wasn't it like 150? They nerfed this. Okay, it was 30 per until 100. Now we have to stack seven and get only 140. Anyway, we have 140% damage here. Encourage, which amplify by 20%. And uh, we have master fighter for 70 per 80% uh, more damage to the hero and the dual. On our dark abilities, we have Super Baby because I'm always a coward and I encourage you to also be to not die. Uh, we have Aging, which increases our cooldown speed, even though, and even though we reduce the skill damage, it doesn't reduce the gunpowder sword damage. So it's still good. Kingslayer, just to, so the hero has 10% less HP, and Weakling, which is increases our skill casting speed by the cost of our physical attack speed going down we don't uh, we don't care about our, our basic attack and skill casting speed means we can just summon, uh, summon something like this and just move right after which is good our final stats are these uh, physical attack goes a bit higher but 350% skill cooldown speed uh, the 25% base Great race thanks to the spokesman of the beast. Let's end this and uh, see on the other end. Oh, and of course, I, Shadow Knights. Shadow Knights. Uh, very good. You just want that. And our physical bomber. You saw the big. 1450 damage, that's him. Uh, yeah, the purple pink thing around us is the effect from the. This attack in hard mode, same thing, but it can hit you in the corner, so you cannot just stay here and, and not take anything, but it's fine. We will hold Shadow Knights for the second phase of the hero. Yeah. Finger song. Besides having more HP, I don't think that the that the hero gains any advantage. You can see that the duel is fully activated now. Alright. And because this is a skill casting run, we just press buttons and run. We got hit by this, it's fine. We don't care. Because we can just hit it. Okay, this thing here, they just walk a bit, slowly. And jump. Okay, this was a bit. Uh, this time because the dash from Kaboomer was a bit too fast, but it's fine again. Uh, do use your swaps because you get a free HP bearer while you're swapping. This year, I still don't know how to like time it very well, but here, ouch. But yeah, just prevent the stuff is good enough for us. Final stats that I was showing: 65% uh, grace rate and 779% physical attack. But the king's dead, and uh, 
take a big picture here for our thumbnail because that's level one for you that's our second video for our walkthrough if you want to see more be sure to tune up or see the whatever you youtube recommends you because he knows that you want more or not who cares thank you uh, for watching uh, see you on the next one stay safe